Georgia peanut and cotton producers fund many different research projects that advance these two important Georgia commodities. Every year, the Georgia Cotton Commission and the Georgia Peanut Commission invest grower dollars that bring big returns for farmers and consumers. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the report. Georgia peanuts and Georgia cotton are very important to the state's economy, and these two commodities are very important to the farmers that grow them and to the small rural communities that surround many Georgia farms. Here in Tifton, research is being conducted that will keep these commodities growing for generations to come. Recently at a field day, growers got to see just how research dollars are spent to advance cotton and peanuts. To me, this is a, an open-ended um, mix of information because we're providing some of the results, some of the things that we're working on, but it also kind of spawns conversation where growers may bring up ideas that we've not um, been dealing with or that they've got issues that we need to deal with so that we can add them into our research and extension programs in the near future. So I think it's a two-way street. I think we enjoy this this uh, cooperative effort between the two commissions and uh, because a lot of the same growers grow both crops and so I think it's a good thing. Uh, but I, I really do enjoy the reaction and interaction uh, with the growers and the industry folks so that we can kind of keep moving these two crops forward. Row after row of peanuts are planted alongside cotton fields to help learn how to grow better crops more efficiently. We're looking at planting date, harvest date, um, we're looking at row spacing, we're looking at a lot of varieties to see which one might work in this area versus another. Uh, and that's just in agronomics. Uh, we also have all the entomologist work that's going on looking at insect problems. Uh, we're looking at plant pathology, which is a big problem in peanut. You know, the breeding effort is showcased here today. That is a tremendous thing. I mean, because peanut is still one of the only row crops that's uh, bred in the university system still. Dr. Bob Kimmerite is a UGA plant pathologist, and he conducts research here in Tifton to fight diseases that can get a stronghold on crops. One of those diseases in cotton is called bacterial blight, and it is a widespread problem in many fields around the state. Bacterial blight is caused obviously by bacteria, it's caused by a xanthomonas bacteria, and it causes very diagnostic leaf spots. They're constricted or delimited by the veins. They, it's called bacterial blight because the bacteria in there, they can't get around the leaf walls or the cell walls, and so you see geometric shapes, an angular shape. And from there, it can go internally, it can go in the veins, but it can also cause a bowl rot. Of course, if left untreated, this disease can hurt a farm's bottom line. If it remains strictly a part of the leaves, restricted to the leaves themselves and cause premature defoliation. In the most severe cases, we're probably talking about a 10% yield loss, depending upon when the disease comes in. However, if it spreads to the bowls and the bowl rots associated with it, our losses can get more, maybe 25%. Cotton and peanut research here in Tifton and other parts of the state depends greatly on funding from the Georgia Peanut Commission and the Georgia Cotton Commission. In Tift County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.